Hi guys and welcome to the Weekly Ops with Canley. It's that time of the year when we all think about summer and getting away from it all. Usually on a beach somewhere, right? We at Wargaming are no different, although our idea of a holiday is to relax in the shade of the beautifully restored and maintained vehicles at the Bovington Tank Museum in the UK. It's a real highlight of the World of Tanks calendar and the world's biggest display of working historical armour. We're all busy packing our consumables and we'll be out in force, hoping to meet as many of you as we can. The event runs from Friday, June 29th until Sunday, July 1st. If you want to come along, check tankmuseum.org for tickets. Something else you may want to add to your schedule is a very special stream we have planned for Wednesday, May 16th. The aim is to take some of the maps, tanks and technologies in World of Tanks and explain them in a more historical context, from how various tanks came to make their mark on history to battle tactics and war strategies. Your host for that one will be Falathi, so whether you're new to the wonders of military history or an established expert, there will be something to learn. It's been two years since the reveal of Frontline, an early and experimental game mode intended to be played across vast 9 square kilometers battlegrounds between teams of 30 tanks. Ever since then, we've successfully introduced grand battles which, while awesome in many ways, they aren't quite the same thing as Frontline. Thankfully, after the huge efforts that went into recent overhauls, our development's focus is once again falling on realizing the original Frontline vision. This is World of Tanks' most extensive and expansive game mode yet. Thankfully, you don't have to wait around if it's epic deals you're after. The collector's gem of the week is the T-14, an American heavy that regularly dominates matches in and around Tier 5. With excellent all-round armor and good speed, you'll be forgiven for thinking you're commanding a medium tank, except that the T-14 is the ultimate battlefield survivor. Unfortunately, this discount won't be sticking around much longer, so move fast as a new gem will be taking its place tomorrow. To commemorate the passing of Victory in Europe Day yesterday, we are continuing our series of military parade offers with the Type 62, a Tier 7 light tank that did not take part in World War II due to entering service for the Chinese Army in 1963. It did serve in Vietnam, though, both with the North Vietnamese Army against the US in the South and with the Chinese in 1979 when PLA forces took umbrage to Vietnam's occupation of Cambodia in defeat of the Khmer Rouge. Designed to operate in marshy mountain terrain, in-game it's not the fastest light tank and its armor is quite weak, which is offset by its low profile and an 85mm gun with a good rate of fire and penetration and that manages to remain accurate even on the move. Our military parade special is up from May 12 until the 15th, with a whole bunch of discounts, a chance to get consumables and boosters and a times 5 XP multiplier on your tank's first victory of the day. Lastly, what do you guys think about these news reports? If you have any ideas or questions, please post them in the comments below because you might see them featured in a future episode. As always, to keep yourself up to date, don't let our channels out of your sight. Follow us on social media, on Twitch and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you next week. Bye!